Well, good morning from Normandy. Um, yes, I'm back in Normandy again. Been visiting friends. Um, so I've gone back north of Le Mans. So here we are in beautiful Normandy where the taxi drivers apparently have their brake lights on permanently. Oh no, he's managed to take his foot off the brake. It's impressive, braking as he overtook me. Um, but um, yeah, we're heading towards Germany today. I'm not sure how far we'll get, but back to Germany, maybe a bit of Austria, into Slovenia. Um, we've got about a thousand miles to cover between now and next Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, I think. So, um, all good times. Uh, I've set the auto route, uh, the auto route, the sat nav to avoid um, toll roads, but we may well do some free sections of auto route today just to try and get the average speed up. Uh, the previous part of this video um, failed last night, um, episode 8, uh, failed in the upload of very, very rural France, terrible internet. Uh, laptop rebooted in the night, that was end of download. Uh, or end of upload rather. So um, uh, I need to find some internet today so I can remedy that situation. Don't want to keep you waiting any longer. But yeah, I think it's going to be a long and probably very hot day behind the wheel today. It's currently 10 past nine in the morning, local time. And um, yeah, forecast to be um, certainly mid thirties, if not hotter today in the old um, Celsius scale. Uh, that's um, 100 for you um, funny American folk and um, the older generation in the UK. Uh, so we'll see how the day unfolds. At the moment, so French. All very rustique and charming. So I must say some very special thanks to those who've hosted me over the past few days. It's been nice to have some time to properly unwind. Um, on Monday I did pretty much nothing at all and felt much better for it. Uh, always nice to actually break up these long trips but today is about mileage. Um, 516 to my destination but I don't think that's going to be my destination tonight. I suspect we'll have a break. I fancy 10 hours of driving, but um, yeah, I, destination is set at the moment for Lake Constance, which is um, on the border between Germany and Switzerland. Just to prove it isn't always plain sailing here in France, uh, we seem to have ground to a halt for reasons I don't fully understand. Um, I think we're on about 60 miles since setting off this morning. Uh, it's now 20 to 11. It is starting to get very hot. So I would be really happy if we could get moving again. Well, this is going to be slow going. And now my um, sat nav is overheating because um, it's too hot and can't charge the battery. So I've had to make it a little um, uh, shade. Let's see if that works. Well, once more, we're nearing Paris, but I can see it on the horizon. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Uh, my sat nav shield does seem to be working, so that's good. But yeah, this is all getting a bit blur. I've been driving for over two hours now, but I just want to get to the other side of Paris and then um, I'll have a stop and treat myself to an actual break. Gosh, it's hot. 20 to midday and uh, the last thing you want is to be stuck in a traffic jam. It doesn't seem any cooler underground. Oh, 
This isn't good. Ooh, it is rather warm. I've managed to find a shady spot to park for lunch. Um, so that's us um, three hours covered this morning. Um, slightly lost track of mileage, but we're um, yeah comfortably over 100 miles covered today. Now I need a break. Oh. We'll let Ellie have a bit of a cool down as well because it is blooming hot. And um, to be honest, I couldn't really touch the bonnet stay. That is um, horribly hot. Um, but um, hopefully there's still some oil in there. Yeah, we'll go and check the level. Um, but um, yeah, roasting, very warm. Um, she doesn't seem to overheat, but as I haven't got an oil temperature gauge, I've got no way of knowing really. But it is worth remembering, the cylinder heads um, operate somewhere around 200, 250 degrees C, I think. Um, I'm not sure the exact conversion, but I used to have a gauge with Fahrenheit and it would, when it was working really hard, read um, up towards 400 Fahrenheit, which is obviously a lot hotter than the ambient temperature. So even though the ambient temperature is really uncomfortable for me, uh, I'm finding it a bit of a struggle. Um, Ellie should be all right um, because the air is still having that cooling effect. Uh, what I will say is heat is transferring into the structure of the car and uh, even the floor, the floor is really hot. So um, I have been driving barefoot and um, yeah, it's just uncomfortable is the main word. I've been slightly attacked by bugs and bits of tree at the moment. Ah. So right, I'm going to check the oil. Uh, although she's a bit down at the back, so it won't read all that accurately. We'll just make sure there's some in there. And then just have a bit of a sit before we push on. So we're past Paris now. I think we're on a road in a vaguely Lille-ish. No, no, not Lille. We came off that road. We're, we're heading south, east, west, somewhere. Yeah, that's where we are, heading to Pruvins by Mir and Melun. Oh gosh, it's hot. Oh yeah, the next instruction is a roundabout in 67 miles. I know that won't mean a lot to the Australians or probably the Americans either, but that is a blooming long way between junctions. Sadly, I'm still struggling to find anywhere here in remote uh, mid-France that has blooming internet. I guess this is a reminder that there's an awful lot of France that has nothing in it at all, which makes the bedlam around Paris all the more ridiculous. But us humans just pack ourselves into tiny parts of a country. There is so much space here. spread out a bit, maybe there wouldn't be so much traffic. Oh gosh, it is hot. I just stopped for fuel because I um, filled up last night. I had to fill up again, so I must be getting on for 200 miles. Um, yeah, yeah, we're at about 200 miles, I think. So uh, annoyingly, it's a prepayment one. You have to tell them how much you're going to fill up with before you fill up. So I haven't been able to do a proper fill to fill. Uh, very strange business. Oh yes, the coil's getting hot. But uh, we shall continue. Just prayed three euros for a fruit smoothie, but I'll tell you what, it was probably the, the best three euros I've ever spent. It's worth paying just for the cold. Oh gosh, it's hot. I think about 38. Let me go see if I can find somewhere to cool down for a bit and maybe upload that video. We shall go and visit Cezanne. Right, let's have a bit of a recap about what's going on. You have to excuse the poor light. There's no way I'm getting in the sunshine at the moment. So I came from Belgium over to Paris, over to Normandy. Uh, we had our little Citroen do, then I went south to Le Mans, out down the bottom of Le Mans, 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure which direction I went out. Uh, but then back up to this area um, for another visit while I was on my little break. And then I came charging across to Paris this morning and I'm currently about here, I think, at a place called Cezanne. So I've done um, that distance between the two fingers today, which is about 200 miles. And uh, I'm feeling absolutely knackered. It's about 38 degrees. It is absolutely roasting. And um, yeah, autofocus, can't even keep up. Look, there's a little Renault Twingo. And uh, I went into a Leclerc to try and find um, Wi-Fi. It was broken. So I went to McDonald's and it was terrible. Um, there's just no speed here. Um, super fast broadband is not at all common in France, especially if you're driving straight through the middle bits where there's pretty much nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to push on to Nancy and um, then maybe hop across the border. I don't know, we'll see how we feel. But yeah, part eight is gonna to have to wait. Very, very frustrating. But there are still 123 miles to go today, so I better get a move on. Um, for that, I might need keys. Uh, usually considered a good idea when starting a car. Oh. Yeah, that coil's getting warm. Let's hope it keeps going. Right, how do we get out of this car park? Historic moments coming up. More than one of them. It's still horribly hot. It's getting painful to drive now. The throttle pedal's burning my foot and the steering wheel is starting to get very unpleasant to touch with my hands. Um, but nonetheless, Ellie keeps going. And she's just clocking up her 215,000 mile. Well done, old girl. I don't think we've ever experienced conditions like this together. Further exciting news stems from the fact that we're coming up to a roundabout. The first one on this road for at least 65 kilometers. No, 65 miles. More like a hundred and something kilometers. Still 84 miles to do today. And uh, in case I didn't mention it, it's blooming hot. Right, you remember what to do at roundabouts, Ellie. Gosh, it's hot. I don't know whether to have my hat on or off. I mean, I have got the sunshade, but putting the hat on just makes my head hotter. Let's hope we don't break the 45 ton weight limit. And on we go. In case you're wondering why um, I'm pushing on and covering all this mileage on such a horribly hot day, uh, driving is better than the alternative, which is not driving. It is so hot. I mean, we've slowed down to come through this town and um, yeah, it's um, unbearably hot. This isn't enjoyable heat. Uh, looking forward to a shower. Oh, well, we have made it to our hotel. Uh, that's been a really hot day, about 300 miles, I can't tell exactly. Um, yeah, hard work, but um, Ellie, more than up to the challenge, it turns out. I'm gonna go and have a cold shower. They say uh, you shouldn't have a shower uh, that's cold on a hot day. It's um, not the best thing to do. Oh, I think it is. Uh, I'm having to very carefully avoid um, nip slip, but um, ooh, does that feel so much better. Thank goodness for short hair. <sighs> Trolley bus. Wasn't that unexpected? That's 
a trolley bus on the streets of Nancy. Oh, good acceleration. Well, welcome to um, day 20 of this adventure, I think. Um, it's now four weeks since um, I set off from home. Um, Ellie is loaded up and ready to go. Today's destination is Lake Constance in Germany, or Bodensee, as they call it over there. Uh, about 212 miles to cover today, so not quite so many miles, but I'm gonna set off now while it's still hot and while Chinese people jabber away in the background. Uh, there seem to be um, lots of coaches here, which is a bit unusual. But yeah, not, not a bad um, hotel. I suspect it was a Campanile at some point in its life and um, got too shabby for Campanile. So uh, another company has taken it over. But um, I had a comfortable night. It was fairly cool in the room. It was 35 degrees outside at um, half nine last night, but um, my room was considerably cooler. Uh, so probably time to get underway really just had to top the oil up but not as much as i expected she didn't lose as much yesterday as i thought she would so um just goes to show sometimes you don't know give her just a touch of choke and she's alive so yeah on the on the great big map um, we are, where are we? Nancy. We are here and um, Bowdoin Sea is here. So yeah, that's about 200 miles to cover today. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not as good at this map thing as Itchy Boots. Um, I am a disgrace. She is far superior when it comes to maps. But to be honest, one of my problems is I have no idea where I'm going. I had no idea I was going to stop in um, Nancy um, last night. Um, so, um, yeah, it make, makes planning a little bit difficult, but already it's getting warm. I'm pretty getting stuffy at half seven in the morning. So, um, we shall fire up this. Of course, the big problem yesterday was this overheating. Uh, so let's hope it doesn't do that today. Um, because it sits directly in the sun, uh, it does get very warm. Uh, right, we shall wait for that to sort itself out. It might calculate the route, it might not. But um, anyway, we shall get underway. So we shall leave Nancy um, without really getting a chance to have a nose around. Um, I was stopped uh, very near what looked like a cancer research center. And there's lots of uh, medical buildings and hospital facilities here. So maybe that's what Nancy is famous for which, to be honest, isn't a bad thing to be famous for, is it? But yeah, straight out onto the motorway this morning. Um, just avoid the roadkill. Oh dear, it was a pussycat. Cat's sadly not very good at judging traffic. So here's a fun fact. Um, I have no breakdown cover on this trip. Uh, decided to just hopefully not regret that decision and see how it goes um, but if you break down on a French motorway um, they will come and collect you and take you off the motorway and charge you anyway so um, even if you've got breakdown cover chances are you're not going to get rescued from a French motorway at zero cost right, just stopped for fuel at a supermarket in um, saint D which is um, there, so we've already done that stretch this morning, that's not bad going. And then we'll continue on to Colmar, and then we're hopping across the border. Um, it should be fun. Then we'll be in Germany. All right, we're off the fast roads again, um, because to get to Colmar, there's a payage. Uh, I think there's a big tunnel, and um, after Paris yesterday, I've kind of had enough of tunnels for a bit. So we'll um, see where the sat nav takes us to get around it. But um, definite change of scenery, a lot more hilly, a lot more lush. Oh yeah, this is starting to get hard work. Third gear, foot to the floor, 40 miles an hour. 
about 16 your kilometers I think. Oh no more than 60. Ah that's bad timing. Yeah I can't get around that one. So I'm now trying to overtake a tractor uphill. Hard work. Oh, hairpin. Oh, body rolling. Well, this has definitely got a lot more interesting. Yesterday was just a bit of a slog, mainly fast roads. Ellie, it's all of the revs this morning. Glad of that Burton 652 kit, a bit more poke. Use a sat nav to try and judge the severity of the bends. Cold engines like to rev. Oh, that is sharp break. Oh, what should you do in a second? Yeah, just about. Right, that's a slightly interesting bit done. Go and see what sort of view we get at the top. At least we've got some shade. Oh, that was it. Um, that was a cold that I've forgotten the name of. It was 772 meters. So a little baby compared to some we'll be going up. Uh, didn't manage to snap this picture. Um, but yeah, should have shot a bit of video as well. But. Ellie didn't feel very happy, so uh, I decided to just get moving again. And as you can cool down down the other side. All right, so we, we've now dropped down into the Alsace region. Uh, it's an area that has passed between Germany and France, currently French, um, and one of my favorite parts of the world. Uh, I've been here for a good few years. Yeah, it's just very pretty, very alpine. Um, really is my sort of terrain. I guess I like seeing lots of trees. Um, there's certainly no shortage of them in Wales. Trees and hills. It's a good combination of things to have. But um, here we are. The Alsace region is also the home of the um, Schlumpf um, collection. Uh, the, largest collection of Bugattis in the world and um, lots of people have said I should go but um, I mean it's Bugattis isn't it I find it very hard to relate to them nice old Renault truck there two direction I'm not sure who's got priority but they seem to stop so I won't that's generally how I how I do it is um, give way to someone who looks like they're not going to stop regardless of the rule of the road and where you are. Oh wow, a very nice little town. Can't see anything that will um, remind me what it's called. No. Trey Folksy, Trey Rustique. The, the, the tarmac looked like it had a hard day yesterday and I suspect it's not going to get any better today. It's now um, 
quarter past nine in the morning and um, yeah it's really starting to warm up. I completely failed to notice but when we arrived at Nancy last night uh, or Nancy um, we must have got up to um, a thousand miles for this trip. So there you go, I mean we've not exactly set a terrifying pace but we have covered a thousand miles. Oh look at this BMW prize twat. So yeah, I reckon we've still got probably 2,000 miles left on this trip. No, probably more like 1,500 now, but much less time because I'm going to get to that stage where I just want to get back to the UK. There is a lot to sort out. There's the retro rides gathering. I kind of dreamt of taking Chuck to that, but she spat the plug out the last time I saw her. So um, I don't know if I've got a big job on my hands there or not. That all seems a long, long way away at the moment. Yeah, well done Ellie, 1,000 down, still quite a lot to go. Ah, we're getting very close now. We've passed a lot of towns that end Heim, even though we're still in France. And uh, it certainly has a very Germanic look around here. But um, Freiburg is dead ahead. Uh, presumably home of the Freiburgers, uh, so um, yeah, we've had Roadkill and Freiburg today. But now my son now wants to take me down here. So I think that's the Rhine River to our right there. Right, here we go then, time to cross the Rhine. I think we've crossed the Rhine already once or twice on this trip. But obviously much further north. Republic Federal de la Alemania. Although the signs are still in French. That's slightly peculiar. Oh, maybe it's because we haven't fully crossed the river yet. Madam, just pull straight out, why don't you? No, it's definitely not um, Germany yet. Oh, here we go. Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Are they going to pull the car with the English plates? He's waving his stick already, I can see. Oh, we're through because we're not in a mighty dacha. Phew! Oh, that was just an offshoot of the Rhine. This is the Rhine proper. Wow. That is um, large. Uh, I'm trying to give you an angle. That's, um, yeah, probably not the great, greatest place to try and film that, but yeah, we are definitely in Germany. Apparently Germany has traffic jams as well. Uh, right, this is Freiburg and uh, the main road seems to go straight through the middle of town and it's just jammed solid and it's not good because the coil is overheating. She's starting to get lumpy which is the first clue that she's not happy. This is ridiculous. It's been about 10 minutes so far of crawl, crawl, crawl. Well, we've finally broken free from Freiburg. I will never go there again. But now we're moving again. There's airflow over the coil, so hopefully she'll settle down again. Well, I'm starting to think this was a really bad idea. I'm still 87 miles from where I'm aiming for, and it's just cho choked up with traffic. I guess the school rush, or the school holidays have begun here. Getting very wiggly, even though it's a dual carriageway. Whoa! All of 
of the body roll. Look how boring it is in a BMW Z4. Another nice wall there. Serious climbing here into the hills. Oh. Ouch. That's not a road to be hurrying on in a truck. Constance. Whoa. That is a big old lake. Let's go and take a closer look. What an area this is. I've definitely managed to find some nice Germany. Oh, this is definitely um, Trey Folksy. spots go this one really isn't bad wow that is quite a lake and one very hot 2cv I'm gonna see if we can find a campsite I might be pushing it because um, that's there and um, the few I found so far have been fully booked and on the left we shall give it a go. I still can't believe that's the view out the windscreen. Well. When I let a free wheel, wheel you really can hear the clunk. We're going downhill, so um, I might as well just um, let her roll. Wow. What a spot. <sighs> what a day. But um, once again, under canvas. And once again, Ellie got me here without trouble. So, um, can't really complain. Just gonna chill out here for the evening and push on tomorrow. It's been um, quite the afternoon, really. Uh, I went for a swim. That hasn't happened for a long time. And uh, I'm just back from a lovely meal um, with, with ice cream, I'm afraid. I even dressed smartly for dinner. You've got to look the path. Um, so yeah, it's been nice to actually uh, have a bit of a rest and try and cool down. Weather forecast for tomorrow is lots of rain. Um, so that might be um, not so pleasant. So um, yeah, we, we should crack on and see where we end up. Well, there we go. Um, Ellie seems to have um, cured her oil leak, cured her tire pressure leaks. Uh, what a star. Uh, we're pushing on today, it's again quite early, it's quarter to nine in the morning, um, I've already packed up my tent and uh, we're getting on our way towards Austria because it's going to be another hot, hot day. So I've topped up my water supplies and hopefully I'm good to go. And um, yeah, we shall go and see what Austria has to offer. But I think this video is probably getting long enough and I know it's not the most exciting video so far of the series, but um, it's been two days of very hard work. We've done over 500 miles in two days, uh, which is about 800 kilometers in a heat wave. Uh, so I'm very pleased with how Ellie's done. I'm very pleased um, I've managed to cope as well, to be honest. It's not been at all easy. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to navigate my way back to the B31. And uh, I think this way is where we're going. 
And uh, yeah, we just start heading for Austria. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll bring this one to a close. Um, I will say, I, I, yes, I've, I've been rubbish at keeping you updated. I have managed to use my key in the fuel filler next, so that's that one sorted out, and I did find the clips in the boot eventually. Um, but uh, I think that's the only thing I'm outstanding on. It is very difficult to try and remember what I've said when I'm trying to make these videos, especially when it's really, really hot. It's very distracting. Um, but yeah, got a nice, cool looking tunnel up ahead. We'll just stop shortly for fuel and sun cream. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you in another tunnel or another video. Farewell. This goes on a bit, doesn't it?